What's up guys, my name is Fazan Ujjad and in this video we will create 3D parallax effect in DaVinci Resolve. First of all go to the photo room and remove your picture background. Now download this picture. Now in photo room remove your subject as well. Now I'm going to select my subject and now photo room will remove this automatically from this picture. And we're done. Now download this picture as well. Now import this picture in DaVinci Resolve and first of all go to the effects and drag this fusion composition in timeline. Now go to the fusion page and in fusion page check this media pool and now drag your background in this timeline and drag your subject as well. Now we have to drag this image plan 3D and we have to also drag this merge 3D and we have to select render 3D and in final I'm going to drag 3D camera. Now connect your background to this image plan and connect this image plan to merge 3D and connect this to render 3D and now connect this to media out. So this will be the final result and if you select your merge node and press 1 on the keyboard as you can see now we have 3D spacing. Now I'm going to select my subject and connect this to image plan 3D too. Now connect this to merge 3D. When it turn green it means it placed this subject on top of this image. So now we can click here we can select this image and now as you can see guys we can align this in 3D spacing. Now we have to also connect this camera to merge 3D and now we can select the camera and now as you can see right here we have the final result and now as you can see guys now we can animate this we can create a 3D parallax effect. Now we can press alt on the keyboard and use the mouse scroll we can rotate this in 3D spacing. Now I'm going to place my camera to about here. Let's place this right here. And now I'm going to add a keyframe in X and Z axis of this transition in transform of this 3D camera. Now add a keyframe in these two. Now let's go to the 60 frame of this clip. Let's place this camera right here. And now let's place this about here. Now from this position, I'm going to go to the this frame and now let's place this camera. right here now as you can see guys we animate the camera but to create 3d parallax we also have to add depth of field so to add depth of field first we have to select the camera go to the controls go to the control visibility and check focal length so the camera will focus where we have this focal length now i'm going to rotate this and i'm going to place my focal length to about here let's add a keyframe and now let's go to the last frame of this clip. I'm going to focus on the subject. So I'm going to place this focal length to about here. And now I'm going to change my focal length to about here. And now let's go to the last frame and let's change the focal length to focus on the subject. And now as you can see guys we have this focal length. Now we can go to the subline, we can check this camera 3D and we can select all these keyframe and we can smooth out the animation by clicking on this graph. Now to enable depth of field we have to select the rendered 3D. We have to change this to open here render and we have to check accumulation effect. Now add 10 in the quality and type 0 0.01 in amount of depth of blur to add natural depth of field and now as you can see guys we have this natural depth of field now we have to go to the open effects and we have to search for shake and we have to drag this on top of this fusion composition now if your DaVinci Resolve is now working slowly then we can go to the fusion page we can select render 3d and we can uncheck enable accumulation effect and now we can adjust this effect we can lower the speed scale and we can lower the motion scale. We can increase motion blur. Now you can go to the pexel.com and you can search for light leak. So I have this light leak. Now I'm going to change my duration. Now select this light leak and change the composite mode to hard light. And we can lower the opacity to about here. Now if I change my playback proxy to quarter, we can play this. And now as you can see guys we have this 3D parallax effect. We can increase the duration and we can increase the duration of this light leaks as well. 
now if you want to change your camera angle if you want to animate some different angle then I highly recommend go to render 3d and uncheck accumulation effect because if you check accumulation effect it will add depth of field but it will also require most of your computing power so it will impossible for you to do something like tiny changes in your camera while enable this accumulation effect now if your clip is taking longer than the usual then it is fine because we add depth of field and it require most of your computing power so this is the reason why your video is taking too long to render now after the render here we have the final result so i hope you like this video thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one